Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be answering a question that I often get and that is what's in your oil cans that you use in your shop? Well, basically what's in my oil cans is a combination of transmission oil and engine oil. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you're going to notice that sometimes in some of the videos I do oil parts using these cans and you'll notice that the oil is kind of reddish in color and that's simply because I use transmission oil in the can mixed in with some engine oil. So for example, if I'm mixing up an oil can for the winter time, I'm going to mix it up with any automatic transmission oil and 5W30 engine oil. And if I'm filling them up for the summertime, I will use my automatic transmission oil mixed in with my HD30 engine oil. If you don't have HD30, you can use 10W30 oil. It's a little bit thicker than 530. And because it's hotter in the summer, I like to use thicker oil mixed in with the transmission oil. If you use oil that's too thick in the winter time, it may be hard to squirt it out of the cans. That's why I will use 5W30 engine oil for that in the winter time. Now you can use any automatic transmission fluid or oil and any engine oil when you do this. It's not really that important. The only thing I would recommend is that you do not use old engine oil. I find that the old oil can be contaminated and I prefer to use brand new oil on the parts that I oil. You will not go broke using these cans with new oil because you're not going to use that much oil. And actually I'm going to be filling up my cans right now. And you'll see exactly what the mixture is going to be. Basically I'm going to mix this half and half. Half transmission oil and half engine oil. And I'll use my HD30 or SE30 oil for this. And I like to keep two cans of this oil in the shop, it's just more easily accessible. You're going to notice that the transmission fluid does smell a bit stronger than the engine oil. The reason why I like using transmission oil in my cans is because the transmission fluid sticks the parts much better than the engine oil. Now don't worry if you're not totally exact on the half and half portion. I just dumped out a bit of oil because if it's too full and you put this back on, the oil will spill on the sides. And now when you use your oil, it's mostly going to be the color of the transmission fluid. I'm just going to oil up my pliers here. So that's all there is to mixing the oil for the oil cans in my shop. Just remember in the summertime use thicker oil with the transmission fluid, in the wintertime use thinner oil with the transmission fluid. Now if it's wintertime and you still have oil from the summertime in your cans, you can always add a bit of transmission fluid to the cans to make the oil thinner. And there's no end for the uses of the oil in this can. It's so handy around the shop because there's always something that needs to be oiled on equipment. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to subscribe, you can always bookmark this video for the next time you mix your oil cans in your shop and have yourselves a great day.